Hello, good evening, and welcome to the first weather week of 1995. Talking about a new year reminds me of a couple of things. Firstly, we do still have some 1995 tide tables available, so if you'd like a copy and haven't yet asked, I'll give you the address to write to at the end of this weather forecast. Secondly, we should really see how the temperatures should start off a new year. And at this time of year, the average maxima should be around about 5 or 6 degrees Celsius. That's the low 40s Fahrenheit. So obviously a bit on the chilly side now. We're nearly at the coldest time of the year. I think we will find values rather lower than that during the middle part of this coming week. And at night, we should well find a frost in many parts of the region. Just a touch of frost here and there. Again, I think during this coming week, we're likely to find some quite sharp frosts developing. Now we'll look at the satellite pictures that we have been receiving during the course of today. And you can see the reason for today's rain. It's that ribbon of cloud, in fact, a cold front that's been moving down gradually from the northwest during the course of the day. And it does have some quite mild air associated with it. Following on, though, is clearer, colder air. That could give us a bit of frost and some icy patches tonight. And out to the northwest, there's more cloud gathering. That's some rain that's on its way for Monday and for Tuesday. Well, those are the satellite pictures. Now let's look at our chart for our 3 o'clock this afternoon. Well, you can see that cold front just about crossing the region at that time, being followed by a bit of a ridge to give us a generally fine night tonight. But further fronts up to the northwest do promise some rain over the next couple of days. So for this evening, well, it's uh, a generally cloudy start in the south of the region, still a little bit of rain and drizzle around. But I think uh, clearer skies up to the north are spreading south. So I think for a fair time tonight, we will have largely clear skies, so turning rather chilly. But towards the end of the night, we will find some thickening cloud beginning to move in from the west. So temperatures may well begin to recover late on in the night. Pretty chilly. Generally, I think temperatures close to freezing points. So a touch of frost in many places, so watch out for some icy patches. Tomorrow morning, I think uh, a fairly cloudy day. We could get a little bit of brightness first thing. Uh, a little bit of rain and drizzle around, I think, first thing. But uh, it will probably dry up for a, a little while before some heavy rain begins to spill down from the north, I think, as we go through the afternoon and especially into the evening. The temperatures tomorrow on the mild side, 9 degrees Celsius is 48 Fahrenheit, but that's spoiled by that strong and blustery west to southwesterly wind. Well, that's the next 24 hours. Now we'll turn to the charts through the coming week, and we do have a little bit of a problem midweek. The Monday chart, not too bad. It's fairly mild and blustery. But if we turn to Tuesday, we've got that small depression developing near northwest Ireland. That's going to run southeast. And with cold air tucking ahead of it, there's just the small chance that that could give a little bit of sleet and snow as it comes through. I think for the most part, though, it looks likely to be rain. And by Wednesday, that's moving on into the continent, and with the cold air tucking in behind it, that any rain that has fallen could well turn back to sleet or snow, and certainly will be followed by some snow showers coming down the North Sea. So a pretty cold day. Thursday, much the same. Though you'll find that ridge of high pressure beginning to move in from the west, so I think the uh, coldest air beginning to move away across the North Sea. Then on Friday, we are trying to get milder air beginning to come in from the west, but I think it could be a bit of a struggle, perhaps a little bit of sleet as that front comes in. So there's a chance to put a bit more detail on that for you. Well, on Monday, as I said, it should be a generally cloudy, mild, rather windy day, a bit of rain at times. Then some rain, perhaps some sleet or snow, coming in on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, cold days, quite bright, but with some snow showers, particularly near the coast. Then more cloud again on Friday, with some sleet moving in from the west. The winds, I think, will be quite strong, generally from a westerly direction at first, but turning northerly during the middle part of the week, and then light southwesterlies on Friday. The hazards all associated with the end of the week, when there could be some ice, some snow, and some hard frosts around. So do watch out for some icy conditions. And those temperatures, well, starting off at around about 9 degrees Celsius, 48 Fahrenheit, but falling away 2 Celsius on Thursday is just 36 Fahrenheit. So there you have it, starting off mild, turning much colder, and finally, that address I promised you, you will see 